Hi, Odoers. As SW grows, the number of leads we have grows as well. And I need a solution that allows me to nurture my leads and motivate them to becoming customers. This is when a marketing automation tool comes in handy. Automating workflows is a sign that I'm building intelligent, data-driven campaigns that enables me to deliver the right message to the right prospects at the right time. And not just that, it also speeds up processes and creates a seamless experience for my employees. And guess what? Again, I found what I need in one single application with Odoo's marketing automation app. So let's dive in and check it out right now. All right, here I am on my database. Now, the first thing we're going to do is have a quick reminder of the stages I have set up in my CRM application. So let's jump to CRM. I'm looking at my pipeline here. Now I see the stages as one, as new, qualified, proposition, second proposition, and one. All right. Now, of course, my goal is to nurture my relationships with the new leads as much as possible in order to qualify them as much as possible and ultimately gain them as customers. Now, I'm going to take advantage of the marketing automation application in order to do that. I'm actually going to create a new campaign. So let's go ahead and jump to marketing automation. Now we're going to have an overview of all of our campaigns that we've created thus far, but let's create a new one that is specifically meant for nurturing those new leads. So I'm going to click on create. And I'm going to call this nurture leads. And then my contact or my target, of course, is going to be leads slash opportunity. And then I'm going to add another filter because I want this to be specifically for uh, the leads that I have in the new stage. So let's go ahead and search for stage. I'm going to go another level further and say stage name and equals new. Okay, so once we've set that up, we know who we're targeting. I can go ahead and create some new activities. So let's add our first new activity. Now I'm going to choose an email. We see the activities type here. So we have um, emails, server actions, and SMSs. I'm going to do an email for now. Okay, and I'm going to call this email blog. And then I will go ahead and add a new mail template. Um, if you don't have a mail template already created for your marketing automation application, you can create and edit a new one on the fly right here. But I'm going to go ahead and add this mail template email blog. As simple as that. On the right side, we're going to have a trigger. So I can say this should be sent one hour um, after the beginning of the campaign. Um, and we can change these as well if we would like to. Um, but I will get into that in just a moment as we start creating more activities. So this will be our first one to start us off. And you're going to see here that we have this expiry duration um, option that we can click. Now, this enables me to choose uh, to stop running the activity after a certain amount of time. So let's say you're promoting a time based offer such as a Black Friday offer and you want to be sure that the customers receive it um, before or on uh, Black Friday. You don't want the offer to be received the Monday afterward. That doesn't make sense. So you can choose that option if you would like to. Now, under the domain section, I can apply a filter uh, for this specific activity that will narrow down my target even more. Uh, so I do have that option. OK, but let's go ahead and save and close this for now. And then we'll click on save. And here we will easily be able to see how the workflow is built and the metrics for each activity. Um, and as we create new activities, we're going to be able to see the entire workflow. So let's go ahead, click on edit one more time. Okay, and I'm going to add a child activity. So once I hover over this, I'm going to see many options. So I'll be able to create a child activity um, when they've opened the email, um, if they haven't opened it yet, um, if they've replied, if they haven't replied, if they've clicked or haven't clicked, or if it's bounced. Okay, so I have a lot of choices here, but let's go ahead and create a child activity um, for when they've actually opened the email. Okay, so I'm going to click on this. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and create that activity. It's going to be another email. Okay, and I'm going to call this uh, email promo. And then I'll go ahead, add that mail template again. It's we have a promo for you. Okay, the trigger this time is going to be one day after the first email was opened. Okay, we don't want to spam them with emails. We want them to uh, be interested. And if we send too many emails at once, they might start ignoring them and that's not good. Okay, then we have the activity. So we say one day after the email is opened, the specific one is email blog. Okay. So we have this option here. Um, and then again, I can add um, even more filters under the domain section, but I won't do that for now. 
Okay, and then we're gonna click on save and close. And before I save completely, I'm even going to add a child activity to the child activity. Okay, so we're gonna hover over here. Oh, but first I actually do have to save it for the saves or for the changes to apply. Then we'll go back to child activity, hover over, and here I'm going to create one for when um, the email's been clicked. So we're going to see one hour after mail clicked here, and it will be after that email that I set uh, on the last activity. Of course, I can change this as always. And then let's go ahead and add a name. So I'm going to say uh, move to qualified. Okay, and this is going to be a server action. So I want something to happen inside my database. I'm not going to send an email or an SMS. And I can create a new server action from right here as well. And it's going to be move to qualify simply. Okay, I have my model, which is lead an opportunity and the action to do will be update record. Uh, we do have other um, options as well, but this is what I'm going to choose for this video. All right, so then we need to choose our field. So I'm going to go ahead and say stage. Okay, and I will choose stage for the CRM lead. And for the evaluation type, I'm going to say reference and the record will be moved from new to qualified. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and save this. This is how we're going to automatically move um, the stage from new in our CRM application to qualified. Now I'm going to show you how that works. It's super cool. So let's go ahead and save and close this. Okay, and again, we have an overview of the entire workflow. We see um, all of the child activities. If this action was a child activity of the main activity, we would see it in parallel with that email promo. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. And what we're actually gonna do now is launch a test. We want to see how this will actually turn out. So we're gonna click on launch a test here. Okay, I'm going to choose uh, one of my leads to test with. Okay, so let's go ahead and search for uh, our modular desks lead and then we're going to click on continue. Okay, so we're here, we're testing with this particular lead. You can always create a lead to test with specifically. You don't have to test with a real potential customer. Okay, and then I'm going to click on the run button. So it will send the email for real and it will be received um, in my mailbox. All right, and I have that mailbox right here. I see it's been processed. Okay, we're gonna receive that email, the email blog. I just opened it. Let's go back to our database and refresh the page and see if it recognizes that I opened that email. And it does, so then I can go ahead and move on to the next activity. All right, I can run this, which we, as we know is another email. Okay, and when I click on the run button, I of course don't have to uh, wait for the time that I scheduled. So I don't have to wait for one day after they open the first email, it will send right away. And we'll see that the next child activity is scheduled. But let's go ahead and see if we receive that email and we did. Okay, and I'm interested. I see a big picture that says sale. So I'm gonna click on the email, be redirected to the Stealthy Wood website. Now that I've done that, let's again refresh the page on our back end. Okay, and we'll see that it was opened and clicked. Okay, so it's really smart, it knows what's going on. And then we can even run the next action. So we won't be able to run the uh, following actions until the rules are applied. So for the first activity, it needed to be open in order to send um, the next email. And the next email needed to be clicked in order to do the server action, which we'll do right now. So I'm going to click on run again. Okay, and now I see that the whole flow is completed. It goes from running to completed. All right, let's refresh the page one more time. And then we're going to jump to our CRM application. And I'm going to see that this lead modular desks, it went from new to qualified. Okay, I did all of that from the marketing application, but really I didn't do it. I set it up and then it just happened automatically uh, when my leads started going through uh, and meeting the rules that I set up. Okay, so that's super, super cool. Let's go back to marketing automation and to our campaign. And again, we have an overview of the numbers of emails that we've sent. We can also see the number of clicks. Um, we can see how many tests that we've actually done, um, which is one, and we'll be able to click here and access those tests again. Um, if any were incomplete, we can complete the tests. Okay, so that's really cool. And of course, we'll be able to see all of the participants. So all of the records involved as well. Now,
Not only do I have a nice overview of my campaign, but I also have a reporting section as well. And under reports, I can get compiled results of um, different analyses of performances of my links, traces, and participants. Okay, so I can click on these and check out these reports um, as I wish, whatever information I need to see. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.